are called to order um, and let the uh, record reflect that uh, everyone is here with the exception of John Lippert yeah. who is absent today. Everyone else is uh, in addition. Are there any additions or changes to the agenda? Just one addition. We're going to do an employee introduction for item 12. Employee introduction for item 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that will be given by Dave, Dave Green. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, so is there, with that one change, is there a motion to approve? Agenda? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Uh, seeing that, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The agenda is approved. Consent agenda items five through nine. So moved. Uh, Chair. Oh, yeah. We, we, uh, yeah number right. number <laughs> nine, we're going to have to pull. <laughs> and, <laughs> under items one through eight, is there, uh, why don't we just uh, amend that motion to yep. one through eight? Yep. Second. Okay. Uh, any discussion? All those in favor on consent item agendas one through eight, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That is agreed upon. Uh, item number nine. Do we uh, do have that at the next meeting? I would, yeah, I would say next meeting, bring it back. Okay, make the one change and bring it back. And yep. put it back in the consent agenda. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we will We are not take action on item nine at this time. Uh, open forum. Anyone here for the open forum? <coughs> Online? Nowhere. No. Okay, general business, item number 10, consideration of acceptable use of technology policy update. Thank you, Chair, Commissioners. In your packet, you'll see we have uh, our policy. We're just making a couple of brief changes to section 2.10. Um, they were, you saw the red line version in your, in your packet. Basically, we're adding Microsoft Teams to software that is covered under the, um, the document, and then we also have some language and then that includes any future communication software so we don't have to keep coming back every time we buy a new piece of software um, so like i said that they were just additions so that they would be included in the existing policy are there any questions and there a motion to approve so moved second any discussions seeing none all those in favor six five are saying aye aye, aye. aye. opposed that the motion carries thank you technology policy update is adopted uh, department updates, 11th extra update. Mike. Good afternoon, commissioners. My name is Mike Keller. I'm the uh, fixed route operations manager. I'd like to update you for the fixed route, North Star Link, and the street supervisors. Um, we have negotiated with both uh, unions, the Teamsters and AFSCME, uh, in this last year, and we've had a mutual, or we mutually agreed on uh, both contracts. Um, fixed route is still running at a reduced service currently. Um, for the first six months of the fiscal year, our ridership has increased over 15,000 rides in the same time over last year. Um, for the North Star Link, we actually increased our service. We went from four trips uh, weekdays to six trips. So that started in October. Um, our ridership has increased 1,200 rides in that six month time frame. Um, our street supervisors, we are fully staffed this time. Uh, we had one supervisor that just recently completed the LTP program, the leadership training program uh, that's put on through RTAP. Um, and then we have multiple supervisors that are going through the certified community transit supervisor training. Uh, we're hoping to have all of them trained by the end of the fiscal year. Um, on time performance, we're still at 99% or better each month. It's been that way since uh, 2020. Um, our long range transit plan, uh, that's going well. We're excited to see that we've got some suggestions that came in. Um, we're also asking our operators for their input. Um, I think our operators being able to, to state what they would like to see, uh, it's giving them more buy-in with the changes that may potentially happen. Um, buses, hopefully by this time tomorrow, we should have three new buses here. <laughs> we're going to have two. Um, we're waiting for the delivery. I think it's coming tomorrow, is that correct? Hopefully. Hopefully tomorrow. So I always say hopefully, it's never <laughs> a guarantee till it's here. <laughs> so currently we have two new buses, with the hope of three tomorrow. Um, but we are gonna, we're planning on ordering three more large buses uh, by the end of the year as well. Um, so far this fiscal year for fixed route, we've hired and trained eight new fixed route operators. Um, and then last week we actually had our, our bus rodeo. For a fixed route, Joel LaFranz uh, took first place, second place was Clint Benner, and third place was Jason Hybala. I would just like to point out that Clint Benner started with Metro Bus in February of this year. Wow. So he's only been here for a few months and he already took second place. Wow. Uh, we got cool. some good operators. Good. So, 
Um, I've got the results for Dialeride as well. It's not my place, I'm sorry, Miss E, but <laughs> um, <laughs> Keith Drake took first place, David Peacock took second, and oh, wow. Wayne Prescott took third place in Dialeride uh, uh, division. So. Thank you. Well, how many awesome. operators are you down? Um, good. <laughs> that number kind of changes quite a bit. Uh, we were 17 down for quite a while, but I think we're closer to about 12 down at this point. Yeah. Okay. Um, when do you reach full schedule? Well, um, well, we're 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 trying to balance right now the difference between what fully staffed would be versus what we may need with this um, long-range plan update. Okay. Uh, Duluth used the same company or the same agency that we're using for the update, and they were able to reduce the number of operators that they needed to provide the service and actually bring back a ton of frequency. And so the last thing we want to do is hire 12 more operators and be fully staffed, and then we implement this plan and have to figure out what we're doing with seven or eight bodies. We're kind of displaying that. Um, we'll eventually get to a point where um, you know we think we're good with that and just leave it at that because our we've got quite a few operators that are willing to work the extra work and things like that. So um, our plan right now is to wait until the because the, we don't want to go back to the to the uh, consultant team and say here's the change we're making this week. Here's the change we're making this week. Here's the change we're making this week. Um, our plan would be to kind of leave the service the way it is for now until we implement those plans. So completion of that study is? A completion will either be the end of this year or March. And then our plan is to look at timelines after that and figure out where we would implement where it would work best. Okay, so there's no preliminary part of that study that affects <coughs> the budget since it's six months into a year? I mean, how does that? How does that the affect budget operations if the study says? The implementation says, of the plan will, won't be next budget year regardless. So it would be 25, 26? Exactly, 26 is the plan that we're looking at right now. Um, and then as far as, we also don't want to, as Dave said, we don't want to go back to full service and it, it would skew the data and we learned the hard way when we implemented Connects and when we've done other changes in the past when we're in the middle of trying to do something and then we throw more apples in a cart of oranges, it messes things up that they're trying to study. So what we're trying to do, we kind of figured um, five vacancies, I don't want to speak for Sunny, and she said we've seen that here today, but I believe five was the number that we pinpointed as kind of the target, that we won't hire any number. Sure. We're gonna to stick to five vacancies. In an ideal world, we will have five vacancies in the fixed route, just okay. so that we can ensure that then we won't have to lay anybody off or worry about that. Okay. That's anybody. good. And they're they're putting together act what the way that they're building it right now is they're using our budgetary constraints that we have right now mm -hmm. and our service hours and our service miles, and they're building it within that. And then when they present that, they're also putting. Um, Here's your number one priority that you should do if you have the ability to do it. Here's your number two. And so we can kind of implement this and then pick off this list if we have additional funding or um, ways to do these additional things. So they're really trying to kind of bring it in as a cost neutral thing based on what we have right now. Ideally, they're going to be coming back next month to give the board an update on that. I sent them a nice okay. email. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Well, just work as hard as you can to try to <laughs> deal with 100% on time. That 99 is not acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do better. We're going to have, we're gonna have to better. start cutting wages. Uh, start, yeah. 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 start at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Was there any other questions? No, thank you very much. Any questions anyone else have? Okay. All right, no, then we'll go on to 12. All right, good afternoon, commissioners. I would like to introduce April Sachs. Uh, she is our newest operations support specialist. Uh, Josh Schrader, who was currently in that position, um, is leaving the company uh, sometime here in the future once he trains her. But um, she actually has a, a significant amount of experience uh, banking, uh, different uh, customer service positions, things like that. So um, the bulk of her job will be dealing with the, the customers, fair issues, external complaints, uh, lots of 
kind of touching a lot of pieces within the operations department. So um, we're happy to have her aboard. And she started uh, Monday, Tuesday, somewhere in there. Yes, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this week, really new. Yeah, and she actually uh, comes to us as a as a family member. So uh, her husband works for Metro Bus in the training department. So just goes to sit speak for the fact that everybody wants to work at Metro Bus, including family members. So does she know about the song that she's got to sing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, oh. that's day three. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, welcome. 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 Happy to have you. Do you want to say a few words? Uh, nice to be here. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Dave just told me like five minutes before we walked in the door that he was going to do this. <laughs> so I'll expect a 30 minute presentation next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Well, <clears throat> thank you. Yeah. Okay, then we, uh, that's it. Anything else? No, you didn't anything. So, uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay, all of those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. We are adjourned at uh, 4.15.